everyone, we're here with a new G Suite episode all about education. And today, we're talking about how Chromebooks can help redefine learning in the classroom. And I'm here with Karen Greenleaf from our team. Hey, I'm Karen Greenleaf. I'm on the Chromebooks for Education team, and I look after the world of education content on Chromebooks. I'm actually a mom of three little kids, and my fourth grader loves to create all sorts of things on his Chromebook. So this show really hits close to home. So let's get to it. Tell us about some of the cool things that students are doing on Chromebooks today. Sure, absolutely. Um, teachers use Chromebooks to help students connect more personally with the curriculum that they're learning. And it's pretty incredible to see some of the authentic projects that right. students make. And one of the schools that you visited, Muller Road Middle School in South Carolina, is actually encouraging creativity with uh, creative apps like WeVideo, Soundtrap, and Explain Everything. Tell us what that experience was like. Students were using technology to make connections between curriculum and the real world. So for example, one classroom used WeVideo for student documentaries about a flood that had ravaged their town. A science classroom used Soundtrap to produce a PSA about the importance of hand washing after they studied germs in a petri dish. And a math class was using Explain Everything to draw and animate their understanding of histograms. Very impressive stuff. And I can totally see how these experiences really keep students engaged. For example, in STEM classrooms, we see that it really provides students with the opportunity for hands-on learning because they often incorporate lab work. Right, and Chromebooks actually support a lot of different types of external sensors, like this one here for Vernier. Um, and these sensors work really great with apps such as Science Journal. Science Journal is a digital interactive notebook that helps students explore the world around them. It's great for measuring data like sound, light, and motion. And there's a bunch of activities on the Science Journal website that students can use. The website is a great place to get inspired to think like a scientist. Day in and day out, teachers are differentiating their instruction to help meet the needs and interests of their students. And even though students may share a class set of Chromebooks, they still have a personalized experience after they've logged in. Right. And not only can teachers post individual feedback and assignments with Google Apps like Docs and Classroom, but they can use a variety of web apps as well. Let's check out Fluency Tutor as an example. Fluency Tutor is a web app that helps students practice reading on their own. They can record, playback, and compare readings in private without the pressures of reading aloud in class. Here's a passage about Pompeii. Students can play this passage and then practice reading it as many times as they need. Right. Students can even change the accent if they want and get help from a picture dictionary if they don't understand a word. You can imagine how helpful that would be in an English language learning classroom. In addition to Fluency Tutor, ListenWise is another powerful audio app that helps enhance listening and reading skills. Totally, and I recently learned that students can actually listen and understand two to three grade levels higher than they can read. Wow, that's something I did not know. Mm -hmm. Through ListenWise, students can listen to public radio content and even follow along with a transcript. So let's say students are learning about space travel. Let's search for space travel here, and tons of relevant content will pop up. Let's check out The Math Heroes of Hidden Figures, the story of the black female mathematicians who had a critical role in making space travel happen. Students can listen to that podcast at a slower speed if they want and follow along with the transcript. And there are comprehension questions and discussion themes that can be used to get students reflecting on what they heard. I would have loved to have these tools when I was in school, but it's awesome to see the type of experience technology can bring to the classroom. So Karen, when it comes to schools and Chromebooks, what can we expect next? So we recently announced that Android apps, just like the ones that run on your Android phone, are coming to select Chromebooks. And if you want to learn more, make sure you check out this link. We'd love to hear about some of your favorite Android apps that you'd like to see on Chromebooks, so please let us know in the comment section below. So that wraps up today's episode on education. We'll see you next week, same G Suite time. If you want to learn how to use Google Sheets to create and manage scorecards for your suppliers, check out last week's episode.